Hey there, game makers. I got some good news or bad news. Is game maker now free now? What is, what is actually this? And if you think, wait a minute, one time purchase? Is this a perpetual license? Yes, it is. And the question is just coming up like, hey, should you buy it now? Does it make sense for you now? Uh, quick answer, no, don't do it. And then later on, maybe yes. Um, what this all means in the context of, uh, of the engine and so on. And to give you just a quick TLDR, so the free version is just getting update, updated in this regard that you are able to export it. So just to, to see, if, let's say this is kind of an unregistered uh, account and then what was kind of blanked out because you had to pay that uh, for them to create an exec visible. So basically an export. This is now possible with even the free version. The only restriction here is, first of all, you cannot use it commercially, so non-commercial license. And second of all, you got ain't no console export. So this is kind of still locked in this uh, most expensive tier. Then we got the professional. This is what we had before, which are, for example, I bought the desktop perpetual license and the mobile one for, I guess, what was it? 70 something bucks for the, for the desktop Steam version. I guess it was in this one um, on a discount for 400 something bucks. Um, years ago and I could export and everything was nice and I could kind of skip the subscription model which they imported or uh, implemented, I don't know, was it two years ago, something like this. And, and now they're just coming back to uh, one-time purchases, which I do love. Go away subscriptions, I don't like them. But of course here we got it still. But here this tier is kind of, kind of a mixed bag because this is um, for a really small fraction of people which are making bank anyway so even paying 800 bucks a year so yearly wouldn't hurt their finances at all so let's go quickly into uh, the more details so first of all to understand what's actually going on we're having those updates so here this site you can find under game maker dot io and then under roadmap and then here will you will be greeted with the new features to the left which are done so these were the last up the the updates and then we are reaching the last update for game maker studio 2 <laughs> the current version and then we are making a hard cut and then they call it the new runtime or whatever so in inofficially i would just call it game maker studio uh, 3 but of course they will just call it game maker whatever to make it a little bit more confusing for everybody. And then you got new stuff, which is then promised here, but when they're gonna do it, that's a different qu different question. So we are still in the process of our last update. So the, the November update and after that, so this will be finished in well end of the month and then some uh, eight, seven or nine, so something like this. Normally they release the, the, the version and then this will be the last update for the old perpetual licenses or for people like me and then of course um, then this ends and then we go into the new golden area of game maker studio 2.3 uh, 3.0 and then uh, yeah this is what's happening so this is just for context so here here this is the future they want to back it into new conditions which i actually do like so here this is of course my personal opinion because let's say you want to use free tier allows you to export, which is really great. So let's go into Game Maker just quickly to show you um, that wasn't possible, but now you can compile and create an executable. So basically an export, and this is pretty decent in the regard that you can kind of create a game. It's playable for others. It's not just a, you know, locked Game Maker file, and then you can upload it on itch.io and just play it or whatever. Neat. So this is one of the things. And um, here, once again, you can export it, but of course you cannot use it commercially. So you cannot just make your game, pay Game Maker nothing, and then sell it on, sell it on Steam, be like, yeah, <laughs> everything was for free. Nice. And this is not what they want to do. Difficult. It's just difficult for me because this is a big question mark from my side, how they want to enforce it. Because if they allow you to export, they're pretty much opening P Pandora's box of just saying like, hey, did you pay for, you know, your professional license? You be like, yeah, yeah, of course I did. No, you didn't. You just used the free one. And then so 
here just the question how they want to enforce it but of course giving us exports finally after a decade or more yeah that's pretty nice so once again the free one will go over into game maker studio point three uh, the newest iteration so here if you're just using the free version uh, you will just go kind of seamlessly in, into the new features here and so on and you won't be seeing a change besides getting new features and new stuff so this is pretty cool for the people like me so these guys here uh, the old permanent licenses we are ending at this point and for example if you want to go into into the new game maker future then i assume you cannot uh, you should not update it beyond the last update which is this one here so this is how i uh, uh, see it uh, how they want to do it but of course at some point maybe you're thinking like okay a one-time payment is kind of fair even though for example it's like 99 bucks but let's say at some point you get a discount maybe on black friday next year not this one because we are already on black friday so we, uh, or maybe on in uh, the winter there will be a discount for that i don't know for 79 bucks or something like this but still 100 bucks at some point maybe a fair price for a perpetual license for the next five years or whatever so i would be cool for that Definitely not a subscription because I do do really dislike descriptions uh, subscriptions, and then um, well, this one it's a different different kind of uh, deal. So once again, this could be interesting at some point. So should you update now? I would say if you have the perpetual license, I would say no, just stay on the last um, update. So this one just take that with you. Hopefully. There will be no bugs at the start, which never happened. Never, never. So, <clears throat> yeah, so <laughs> you will just go uh, ignore this kind of thing and that, of course, as well. And then at some point when I see, hey, the new features are really worth it, I just go select, okay, one-time payment. It's okay. Why not? So here, a very decent move. So no subscriptions are kind of, um, you know, being an, an annoyance because, once again, I'm not a big fan of that. So going into the last year that was always the most expensive one but let's say you're making uh, good money on your games then paying 80 bucks which is even above um, adobe tier so that's kind of hefty fine but then if you're making good money with game maker and you don't pay any you know fees additionally like say for unreal or for unity once you're doing good good money then this won't be hurting you as well but if, of course once again this in, in quotations most expensive tier is just for bigger developers or bigger indie teams so everybody else so 99 percent will be just in those two tiers the free one the freebies or the professional one-time purchase perpetual license so that's pretty neat then let's go into the last thing what's actually happening once you are having a subscription so let's say you bought one. So what's actually happening in this kind of regard? They kind of answer that in here. So this is kind of neat. So they just say like, hey, um, you paid already for a subscription for Indie tier or Creator tier or whatever they were called. And then they will subtract. Let's say you want to have the professional one. You already paid for that one. Um, they will give you a discount on the uh, one-time purchase, which is kind of a fair thing. If you purchased Game Maker Studio da, 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 Desktop Permanent License, so this is for the old people, this is what I said already, you can still use it commercially, but let's say you want to use the GMRT, so this is, I guess, whatever Game Maker Studio 3. Point unofficially is called now uh, after the, in the new year, then um, well, you have to buy this license. So once again, only get this license if you want to use Game Maker Studio 3 unofficially for your games and that's pretty much it so hopefully this was clearing uh, everything up so once again my recommendation is for most people just get the free one if you are not um, using it commercially so you're not selling any games this is pretty sweet and you can now actually share your games that was a feature long 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 requested finally they gave it to us so you can just create exports and then put them on itch.io or some other platforms where actually people can play your games Alrighty, hopefully that solved all the issues for you, the news update for that, and let's see how that works out in the future. Once again, I do like that approach here. Perpetual licenses to go. Yes, I do like that. Have a good one. One up indie.